Taking a look at COVID long haulers still struggling with symptoms a year later. But despite these unprecedented outcomes, hope prevails. As Brittany Garzillo explains, the race is far from over to help coronavirus survivors find their new normal. A three time marathon runner, Sarah Burzma, was never afraid of going the distance. I was running like at least five days a week. But now she feels like she's running a whole new marathon as a COVID 19 long hauler. This is a marathon for my health. This is a mar marathon to get better. In March of 2020, the now 37 year old mom of three lost her taste and smell. In April, she was diagnosed with the coronavirus, but months went on and Sarah, who was previously healthy and had no pre existing health conditions, was still short of breath, nauseous, exhausted, and had sporadic fevers. So she reached out for answers from doctors at Northwestern Medicine and became one of the first patients of the Northwestern Medicine Comprehensive COVID-19 Center. We think we were the second in the country to do this. The clinic based at Northwestern Memorial Hospital is essentially a one-stop shop for COVID survivors who continue to have symptoms or get new ones months after being diagnosed. They're also known as COVID long haulers. There's a lot we don't know about the long haulers and what causes their symptoms. And so that is one reason to develop a consortium of individuals so that we can have weekly case conferences. Physicians from across eight specialties, including cardiology, pulmonology, hematology, and general internal medicine collaborate on treating these patients. Patients also have access to social workers and transitional care. We're trying to look at this in a kind of a holistic way. Dr. Charles Davidson leads the center, which officially opened in January of this year. He says about two thirds of patients so far have been women and the average age is less than 50. We realized that many, many of the patients who were having these problems were never hospitalized. Only 6% were in the ICU. You're not wheezing at all. You know, we all. No. Right now, Sarah's seeing four doctors for treatment, including Dr. Mark Sala, a pulmonary and critical care specialist. For the most part, we're able to um, make sure that she doesn't have any irreversible problems in the lung, lung tissue and heart, and then help to um, uh, medicate what we can. Doctors with the clinic have seen more than 500 patients, some of whom have fully recovered. Sarah says with the help of the clinic, she now has more good days than bad. She says her shortness of breath has improved with the help of an inhaler, so much so that she can finally start lightly jogging again. She's already planning to cross the finish line of her next goal, running the Chicago Marathon in 2022. From the bottom of my heart, I actually think it'll be possible. Oh, let's hope so. Now, if you think you've had COVID and are having symptoms for the long haul, you can make an appointment online at nm.org. You don't need a referral from a doctor. Temperatures 